Merry Christmas, traders, and uh, and moving forward into next year, Happy New Year as well. Got a bit of a Christmas gift moving into the actual Christmas day uh, for you. And today, I'm actually going to be replaying a couple of trainings that I've done based on gold, why I see a 3,000 gold, and got a powerful pattern I'm going to share with you today. And then the second training I'm going to be playing, I'm going to be, I'm going to be replaying with you again today, is based on why I see much, much, much higher prices. Again, a powerful pattern that formed on gold before it took for a 12 month bull market so far. And the same pattern is forming on silver and the mining stocks. And I, and I did this training a few weeks ago, but I'm gonna put it all together. These are separate trainings, but I'm gonna put it all together for you today. A bit of a Christmas gift for you. So I really, really, really do hope this serves you out. Once again, this is a powerful, powerful pattern on why I see 3,000 gold and also GDXJ and, and all these other mining stocks as well, some of the mining stocks as well, and silver, why I see a much, much, much higher prices. Also guys, I am running a webinar today and some people have asked me about how do I trade the markets and how how I approach the markets and so on and so forth. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk you through on the webinar today, learn all the details to my four-step trading system that generates a 90% success rate on any market for the last 15 years that generates amazing returns and how I do all my trading in one hour per day. Guys, I, w I really am looking forward to seeing you on the free training today. So go to johnsfreetrading.com or there should be a link in the description. Go go join, go join the webinar right now, guys. And I really do hope that this training really serves you and, uh, and let's get into it. Hey traders, John Howell here. In this video, I'm gonna share with you a pretty powerful pattern that I've been looking at today as I've been doing my analysis on the big long-term picture on gold. Um, and what's going on there? Um, and uh, this also could be forming on silver as well too, but mainly focused on gold long term. And what the market's telling us is really, really interesting. Let me share with this one amazing pattern that I'm looking at right now that says that we could be getting ready for another big move to the upside, plus projection points as well too, where we're likely to go based on this pattern, and so much more. Let's go straight into it. Don't place a trade based on what you'll see in this video because there is no guarantees of making a profit in the market. It takes you a long time to become a good trader. So this video here is just to educate you to become a much better trader. Alrighty traders, let's get straight into it. Before I start guys, um, I'm running I'm running a webinar or masterclass, whatever you want to call it, um, on my number one trading strategy. They get the 90% success rate. I'm going to teach you the one thing that goes into a good trader, the three secrets that you must know when, when applying the trading. I'll put, I'm going to teach you all the, all the details to my trading system and so much more. Very first thing in the description, go check it out. I think, it, I know you're going to absolutely love it. Now, onto this pattern. I'm really, 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 really excited about the long term of gold, guys, because I think where we are right now in the cycle of things and where we are right now, I, I think, or I, I truly believe that we are in a phase where long term, we are getting ready for some really, 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 really exciting moves. Uh, in the stock market, gold, silver, mining stocks, lots of volatility, lots of amazing patterns, and lots of really good opportunities in your trading. And just remember, just before I get into this pattern, guys, just remember, guys, all you need is one one high probability pattern that can give you a 65 or a 70% success rate, and that's all you trade. Forget the long-term investing stuff that I talk about here, right? Or, or long-term in gold. You can just have one pattern, and you start to absolutely crush it that way. So guys, that, that's all you really need, right? And again, on, on my webinar, I'll teach you that one pattern. I, I, I won't hold back. I'm going to teach you all the details to it. Um, anyway, so the the whole thing um, uh, about what I'm seeing here is that there's this thing called cup and handle. And for you guys that don't know what that is, let me actually just bring up a little, let me actually bring up a screenshot here of what it is all about. So let me just bring this up. There we go. Let me bring this up through to here. All right. So I'm bringing this up. Let me, there we go. So this is the cup and handle pattern, which is pretty amazing. Now, let me walk you through this step by step. Firstly, we have a leg that runs to the upside, right? So we have a move to the upside. Move to the upside. And then guess what we have? And then we have a move, we have a move drop to the downside. And as you can see, it's like a bit of a cup. Then we go through a bit of a sideways, bit of a pullback moment, and then we go through a break, right? We break above the previous highs. So, um, and as you can see, this is the cup. And so this will be the cup. Let me actually change the color there because that looks really bad, right? So this is the cup, C-U-P. This is the handle. 
right? So the handle, as you can see, nice little handle. And so you can see cup, handle, and then we break out. Now, what this cup, cup and handle does is that it gives you a pretty nice target of where the market is likely to run to overall. So what you do is you measure from the absolute peak of that resistance point, and then the market comes back down and you measure from the absolute low point to the high point. And when we break this level, we project that up. And as you can see, that's the minimum target that we can see through there. So let me share with you uh, like a real chart scenario. All right, I'm just gonna take another screenshot here of a, of a real chart. And let me bring this up through to here. There we go. All right, so I'm bringing up another screenshot. Uh, all right, there we go. Bam, oh, there. Oh, 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 I'm doing all kinds of stuff now. Let me bring up this other screenshot, guys. And let me share with this here because it's really, really, really interesting what's going on. And then, then I'm gonna get to the gold chart. But look at this here. All right, firstly, what do we have? We have this nice strong move up. There we go, initially where the peak is. And this is, I think this is the, the dollar or something. This is another different chart. Anyway, actually now it's a Forex chart. so. Maybe it's the dollar, I don't know. Um, and then the market comes down, 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 down. We have all this sideways movement, all this long sideways movement, and then we have a move up. And then as you can see, we had the cup, around the bottom is the cup. This is the handle. And then we had a very nice breakout. And what you do is you project, you measure from the high of this move and to the low of this move. So this is people, this is obviously people for investing, right? If you're investing for long term, then this is really, really, really powerful for you for what's likely to happen, where, where gold is likely to go once we can get a break above these highs up here. Now, if you're looking for a trading strategy, then make sure you join my masterclass or my webinar, whatever you want to call it, one of those things. Um, and uh, I'll teach you my trading strategy if you're looking for a trading system, right? Where you want to be active in the markets. That's what that, that's what, that's what that trading is for. Um, so uh, so that, so as you can see, that's what happened. We, when we, we measure from there, and as you can see, we measure from there, and then on the breakout of this, we measure from the high, and we project that up, and that's where the projection point is. Now, we never know how long it's going to get there. So that's what I'm seeing through there when it comes to that. Now, let's go through to the exact chart on uh, gold. Now, bring up the GLD chart because I can't, on my gold chart, I can't actually get a lot of data. But on my on my... GLD chart, I can get a lot of data. I can get back data back from 2005. Now, isn't this interesting? Check this sexy beast out. Now, um, firstly, what do we have here? Firstly, we had what? We had from the start to the nice move to the upside, right? So nice from the from the from the bottom through to the upside, and then what, what we had? We had a, from the peak, and then we're at a peak through there. See that there, peak, peak. And now this is on the GLD chart. Now we know the gold, this is obviously, this is a monthly chart here guys. And we know gold also just slightly broke above here. So look at this here, same thing, right? Moving down through there. And now we're developing what? A little bit of a handle. So if this, this could still develop like this. So if we get that and then we start to get a, another break above here, where is the GLD, right? If you trade in the GLD, where is the GLD likely to go to? Where is gold likely to go to based on this chart? Well, remember what we said before. Let's take this here. All right, you've got a lot of different trend lines here that I've actually drawn in the past. Let me actually go to this this one here. Actually, that, that was an old projection. Look at there. That was an old projection that I didn't actually hit it. So let me go to this one here. Do, 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 do. Right, so what I want to do first is I want to, I want to, I want to get the, um, the, the rounding bottom is obviously the cup, okay? We have this high up here, which is the uh, which is the ultimate high point. If I zoom right in, and now we could be getting the handle. This here could be the overall handle that we're developing right now. Nice little handle basis. Now I don't know whether this is going to be true or not, guys. But what we need what we need for confirmation for this first is. Uh, is a is a break above the highs again. We need to wait wait for it to break above the highs, um, and then we can go from there. Uh, if you go and see, uh, let me actually bring this screenshot back up to you once again, guys, so so I can share with you what I'm seeing. Uh, where's that screenshot go? Oh, oh, okay. 
that's not even where is it go? where'd it go where'd the screenshot go all right let me try it again so let me oh it's not not it's not even showing where'd, where'd it go oh 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 i'm clicking all kinds of buttons here and not working anyway all right so i'm doing this one take here you go so anyway so what we need is we need to see a break above sort of 190 to give us confirmation or a um the entry sort of pattern based on this big pattern now this is where it gets really exciting because based on this pattern based on how we how we look at this what we do is as just as i said before you measure from the low point to the high point and once we break out this cup and handle pattern gives us a projection ready for it guys you ready for it waiting for it on the god that is and i'll do the exact same thing on gold in a minute from there to there project that up it gives you a projected target of $270. Now you guys obviously saw the what I did at this. I was trying to bring up the same screenshots as I was, as I was sharing with you at the start of the video. For some reason, my screenshot, sharing soft, my, my screenshot software is not working now. Um, anyway, but you can see where, where that is on the GLD. Massive, right? Massive, massive moves on the GLD. If we get, if this cup and handle, if this is exactly like what we see it is and we're getting a pullback and now we're getting ready for another big move, Oh my goodness. Now that's that's obviously on the GLD. Let's and that's the monthly chart there. Let's go back to gold the actual gold chart now. And again, see how the monthly charts this is the monthly chart on gold. I, for some reason I can't get the data back here. So but we know, guess what, what what do we know about gold? We know that that's the absolute high point. Isn't it? Absolute high point and we know we had and we know we had, you know, this move up from here to here. We came down, move up and then we also know that this whole point through here could be the handle right now. This could be some sort of cup and handle. Really, really, really fascinating. So this could be the handle that we're that we're looking at, um, and that that we're sort of yeah we're sort of taking on there. So based on this cup and handle long term projection, where's this likely to go if we start to break above say you know above these new highs? We already did break above these new highs up here. So if we continue back up again and say break above twenty one. 21 2100 where's gold likely to go to where's the overall target now this is this is just absolutely just crazy i know guys but check this out check this out um moving up where is that target oh my goodness look at that the target says 2800 that's the target that's the minimum target and i would probably say because the market loves round numbers it's probably likely to run the 3000 isn't that cool oh my goodness guys that is absolutely amazing absolutely powerful amazing powerful pattern says that we have a an amazing move coming in silver and gold i hope you guys really enjoyed this guys remember this is for investing if you like to trade if you want if you want a trading system how i trade like how i how i actually trade the markets then make sure you look at that link in the description and um, guys, I'm telling you right now, this is getting really, really, really exciting. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. Alrighty, traders. So let me get straight into this training, and I hope this serves you well when it comes to when it comes to this as well too. So um, trading is all about pattern recognition. When, when we're trading, right? We're trading. We're, uh, a trader is all about trying to recognize different patterns in the markets, and within that pattern, gives us a probability of doing well makes sense so if i am looking at the markets right now um i am i'm going to share with you actually you know what let me do this firstly i'm going to i'm just going to squeeze my chart up here you, know, you can see this is actually this is actually a quarterly chart guys you're looking at right now so we're looking at you know what's happening over the last sort of yeah you can see i've been doing my analysis on the long term big 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 long term picture um as we can see that if, if I bring this up here, there is a different pattern that I've been noticing that's been forming across the markets. And it's like, ha, huh, it's really fascinating to see this pattern. Now, what this is all about is this, is there's a such thing as called a channel. Okay, so we have the resistance here. So I'm gonna draw, I'm gonna draw it like, like I'm gonna draw it like a stick figure chart, and then I'm gonna share with you examples of how it works. And then we have another channel that goes through here. And what you'll notice is you'll notice that a few things happen, right? So we had the bottom, mark runs to the top, runs to the bottom, runs to the top, runs to the bottom. 
And then suddenly what will happen is you start to see the market break out to up and then it will come back down. And then what will happen is then it will, then it will start to pick back up again. And as soon as we cross above these highs here, we have now just entered a, a, um, a long-term bull market. Now, especially if we're looking at long-term charts, like a weekly chart or even longer, this is very, very significant. If we can see we've been in the channel for, and especially if the channel has been there for many years, and then we start to break out, it's really significant. So step number one, we need a channel. Step number two is we need a higher high and a higher low. Now, sometimes, sometimes the, the highs and lows if I draw my channel again, if I draw my channel like this again, sometimes, you know, you might get the market to do something like this, where it breaks up, comes back down, and then start to do something like that, right? We get back down the bottom here, and then we start to rally back up above here. So we're in a channel, we break out, we make a higher high compared to this high here, and we make a higher low. So what we have here is we have... Um, we have a significant high low then breaking past and this is this is breaking past previous high This is the point here That's going to give us a real big probability of the market making some significant moves and we're and we're now just starting What I believe is a significant bull market So let me share with you some charts here and I'll share with you what um, some examples of what I'm talking about here Let's go back and let's start off with uh, we'll, we'll go back and we'll start off with what actually happened back in to, since 2016 through to 2000, uh, you know, sorry, no, 1965 through to 2015. We can see we had a whole bunch of periods here. Now we're looking at a quarterly chart. Each one of these bars represents, you know, a quarterly chart. So if I'm going to zoom right in here for a minute, let me zoom in here. So I'm zooming in on it right now. And, and as we can see, we've identified what? We've identified a channel haven't we? Beautiful, beautiful channel. Nice resistance support, resistance support. You can see really not much going on. Man, wouldn't that be frustrating investing in that type of markets? How long was that? That's like, you know, long-term buy and hold 17 years. Wow. 17 years and it just goes flat. That's pretty crazy. But it is coming off the, as you can, it is coming off the back of a big, massive bull market, as you can see, right? We actually, we actually went through a you know a 14, 15 year, 16 year bull market overall on this quarterly chart, um, and then so that's the reason why we went sideways. Um, anyway, that, that's that's a different that's a different um, training lesson within itself. But if you understand that when the market makes a big move up, we generally need a bit of generally need a pullback or a sideways phase for the market to rest to the, to then go for another run. But this this that's not what this is all about. Or should I say, that's, that's not what this training is all about. This training is all about teaching you this pattern. So we have the channel through here. And then as you can see, what happens? We start to break out, don't we? We start to make a little, and we start to nicely break out of this channel. So we've had a very long sideways, and then we've broken out. Now remember what, we said, well, remember what I said before, right? We need the channel, then we need a higher high, and then we need a higher low. So if I bring this up here, Right, and then we need a higher low. So as you can see what happened here, look what happened here. All right, I'm just, let me just, I'm just doing this here, there we go. So as you can see, look, look what happened here. The market came down, ran up, had a little bit of a pullback, and then started to run back up again. Notice this was the higher low, and this was the higher high. As soon as we broke past these highs, Nice big breakout, and it was more like if we break, yeah. As soon as we broke above these highs through here, as you can see, we came up from a channel, nice little resistance, pullback, support, and then we broke up and we started to break up through here. This was the point here that says we're now likely to start to see a nice move up. And as you can see, it went through a massive, massive bull market, massive bull market. Uh, this was even the 1987 crash, but as you can see, it was just big bull market, 1987 crash, and then we just continued up for a very, 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 very long time. So that that in itself, guys, is a very powerful pattern. So if, you, if, you, if you're if you trading the markets, keep an eye out for that pattern where the market does nothing for a while, because we're likely to make a pretty big move. Anyway, so that is just one example there of what I'm talking about. Let me now go and bring up the weekly charts, um, because let me actually, you know, let me bring up a candlestick chart here, and I'll share with you a different, you know, sort of from a, from a candlestick basis here. 
And this is actually this is exactly what happened in the election time. So if we go back to the election time, you'd be able to see. Look what happened here. So what's going through here with the election? What's going on? We can see we have a whole bunch of area of basically nothing, right? Really, 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 really nothing going on. Um, long sideways phase, very long sideways. We had all of 2015 into 2016. So we've identified pretty much a channel that's not much is going on. And then as you can see, we start to what? We start to go for a breakout. We have a little bit of a breakout. All right, so let's bring this through here. So we have a little bit of a breakout. So have we made a higher high? Yes. So step one, we've identified a channel. Step two, we've made a higher high. And now, as you can see, we're just going sideways and then bam. Now we've made what? What is this here? This is now a higher low. This is a weekly chart, remember now, a weekly chart. So now we have this higher high, which is from this high here. And now we have a higher low. So we have channel one, higher high, higher low, and then breaking past previous highs. Just like the chart I showed you going back, you know, in the 1965 sort of period there that I was showing with, showing with you just then. So we go sideways, we have a pullback, and then we break past previous highs. What was that? This here was the first sign to say, okay, we spent a lot of time going sideways, and now we're doing, now we're breaking out and we're making a high, 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 low, and we're breaking up. There's a very, very, very good chance we're about to see what? We're about to see something like that happening. So as you can see, right, it went through a very, very, very nice big bull market. Now, yes, we had, um, look at that there, just, just a massive, massive bull run, right? That all came from off the back of this one pattern. And as you can see, we went through, uh, what was that? About a 40% rise over a year and a half. And then we started to have that bit of a pullback and you know, you, you know what happened after that. But as you can see, it did produce a very big bull run, a very big bull move. If we go and have a look at gold, gold did the exact same sort of thing as well too. It wasn't it wasn't exactly the same, but it did, did something very very similar, right? So if gold gold breaks out, comes back down, look what happens here. So we had this very 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 long sort of sideways sort of channel period. We have a what? We have a breakout of the channel. We make a higher high. We come back down. We make a higher low. That higher low there now says we're now likely to start to enter a very nice, nice bull market. It was probably back here where you can see we made a higher low than breaking up. So this was more the point back here. But as you can see, look at that through there. And then we had a bit of a flush down and then we rose back up to 4, 000, uh, 2000 and now we're getting a bit of a pullback now. So this, as you can see, this this was the time where we entered a nice, a nice bull market. And from this part here, you know, we, we went up, you know, 30%, when we went up 30% and now we're, now to me, I believe we're still in, 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 the, in that massive bull market. We've just gone through a bit of a pullback now. So as you can see, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty powerful pattern. So when I'm looking at the miners, in particular the gold mining stocks, I can see um, that very similar patterns are forming right now. If I go to the GDX, look at the GDX. If I squeeze my GDX chart, Look what's happening on the GDX right now. I'm looking at the weekly chart now, and we can see that we have this channel in place, channel, channel, resistance, resistance, have a bit of support down here, and lots and lots of support down here. Look what's happened now, broke out to a higher high. Now we could be forming a higher low. If we start to get above here, guess what? Now we're probably, this, this would be now the start of a significant bull market that does something like this and break up, probably break up to all time new highs once we start to see something like that. Now we are looking at a long-term chart guys or a long-term sort of um, picture here and a long time of investing. So it doesn't mean every day is gonna go up and doesn't mean every week we're gonna go up. We're gonna get periods where we may go up for two or three weeks or four weeks and then we have two or three weeks going sideways. This is a, these are weekly bars here guys. So it takes seven days. Um, for one of these bars to form. You know, imagine what all these days have, have have had there. So we can see that through there as well too. Now also we can see on the GDXJ something very, very similar. Look at this here. Nice significant channel. Very, 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 very significant channel. We've just broken out to make a what? To make a higher high. As you can see, a higher high. 
Now, if we, if this comes back down, we are what we have. We have actually broken back down to this support level now. Significant support. If this breaks up and then we start to break above this high here, guess what? We are now likely to start to see a significant bull market out of the GDXJ. But we need to see it. We need to see what? We need to see the pattern. So what is the pattern? The pattern is channel, channel, a higher high, higher low, and then breaking past previous highs. This is breaking past previous highs. This is the point right here that says we now have a good, a good probability of entering a bull market. So as you can see, I've gone through examples of what happened with gold, what happened in the stock market, um, and there's many more other examples there that I can share with you that, that says we're now likely to um, to do that. I'll, let me just share with you, um, uh, let's go to JP Morgan here for a minute. I actually, this was, this was actually a daily trade that I did back a while ago based on this one pattern. Now again, guys, if we are looking, you've got to put the chart in perspective, okay? If we're looking at a daily chart, we can, you're going to expect a much shorter term move. Makes sense. Now, if we're looking at a weekly chart and we're seeing these patterns form on a weekly chart, we can expect a much more longer move. You know, maybe on a daily chart, we can, we can expect maybe, you know, a couple of weeks to a month. And then maybe, and then maybe on, you know, on a weekly chart, if this forms, we can expect maybe four to six months. See what I'm saying through there? And, and maybe longer. But look, look at back here. This was actually really, really, really also significant. This is, this is actually a trade that I did back here. Here was the channel. Here was the channel. So we got the channel. Look at this here. What did we do? We broke up. We made a higher high. Then it came down, made a higher low. As soon as we broke past previous highs, guess what I was doing? I was actually buying call options here. Now I didn't ride it all the way up. I actually had a target of around the 130 level. So as soon as we actually got to the 130 level, um, that was my that was my sort of short term trade done and dusted. And as you can see, that's when it, that's we also we also continued up to the 140 mark. But I didn't I didn't capture the whole move. But there's a massive probability we're going to get to 130, and so my call options did quite nicely from there. So anyway, guys, I hope this really helps you out. This is just another pattern, guys, that we can see in the markets. And it please don't take this as a certainty as, okay, these these are the patterns we look for. And once we get these patterns, it just, it just gives us a bit of an edge that we're, that, we're go, that we're going to do well. That's all, not a certainty. See, some of the, some, some people think that, oh, here's a pattern and it's, de and it's definitely going to form out. That's not what trading's all about. Trading's all about, okay, we're looking for a pattern that's gonna give us a probability of us doing well, you know? Um, and from that, you know, we can start to do, and as you can see from this, you can start to do quite well, especially if you start to jump on some of these really big sort of long-term moves that actually happen. <laughs> this is the dump that actually happened with, with that. But the main one I'm the one the, one, the main one I'm liking myself is the GDXJ. This is that's the reason why I'm really 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 excited about the GDXJ because it's forming the pattern once again. Because trading is all about pattern recognition. So I hope this helps you out today, guys, and I'll speak to you soon.